Okay, in this problem we're asked to sketch the region of integration r in r2 and then evaluate our iterated integral. So we're given the iterated integral um, from 2 to 3 and then from 1 to 5 of x e to the xy dy dx. So first we want to sketch the region of integration. So we see that our dy corresponds to the limits of integration from 1 to 5, so that means y ranges from 1 to 5, and then our dx corresponds to the limits of integration from 2 to 3, so so we have our second um, our constraint on x, so x is between 2 and 3, and y is between 1 and 5. So we can go ahead and sketch this. So we have our uh, region R2, and we want to um, show the area of integration, which is when y is between 1 and 5. So here's y equals 1 and y equals 5. And then we also want x to be between 2 and 3. So we have x, oh sorry, x equals 2 rather than x equals 1 and x equals 3. So we have x's between here and here and y's are between these two lines. So we want the area in which both of our constraints are satisfied. So that's going to be where our two areas intersect and we get this rectangular region in the first quadrant. So that's our region R of integration, and we want to now evaluate our iterated integral, which was given to us. So we can do that by breaking, the, breaking our problem up into two integrations. So we'll do that by first calculating the integral from 1 to 5 of x e to the xy dy. So we can go ahead and write that. So here we have the integral. And looks like a good problem for u substitution because we're integrating with respect to y. All of our x's are held constant. So if we let u equal to xy, x times y, then du uh, is x dy, since x is a constant and we're integrating or differentiating with respect to y. So we have integral from 1 to 5. So when y is equal to 1, u is equal to x. And when y is equal to 5, u is equal to 5x. So our limits of integration have changed from 1 to 5 to x to 5x. But we've simplified our integral to simply e to the u du by plugging in our u and du. So this is a basic integration. So we have e to the u evaluated from x to 5x. So we can go ahead and calculate that as well. And we get e to the 5x minus e to the x. Okay, so this is our first integral. So we can substitute this, val this term in for 
our first integral. So we get the integral from 2 to 3 of e to the 5x minus e to the x dx. And we know that the integral of a sum or difference is the sum or difference of integrals. So we can split this up into two integrals. And we get the integral from 2 to 3 of e to the 5x. Again, we could use u substitution, or this is a fairly common integral that we're in encountering. So we know that it's going to be 1 fifth e to the 5x. Since we know that the integral of e to the 5x is e to the 5x times 5, so or the de derivative of e to the 5x is 5 e to the 5x times 1 fifth is just e to the 5x, which is what we want. And then we know that the integral of e to the x is just e to the x. So minus e to the x. And then we're evaluating this. from 2 to 3. So we can go ahead and calculate this and we get when x is equal to 3 we have 1 fifth e to the 15th minus e to the third and then when x is equal to 2 we take minus when x is equal to 2, so we get minus the quantity 1 fifth times e to the 10th minus e squared. So we can just go ahead and leave it in this uh, form, and that's the value of our iterated integral over our region of integration R, which is this rectangle in the first quadrant.